I'm Tony DeFrank with California Car Cover, and this is our March uh, 2023 edition of Covering Classic Cars. And today we're kind of shooting our, our March catalog with Bob and Kent of Matranga Hot Rods and, and their go-to guy here, Chris. So um, really appreciate um, you kind of taking away uh, your Saturday in beautiful Southern California to hang out with uh, us and um, you know, Connor, Rick, and I. So I really appreciate it. Um, so, but enough about me. We feature the Brute Force 55 Chevy on our catalog cover. So what, what started the project, what inspired it, um, how crazy were, were the last couple of years? So I guess we can let any of you I'll kind of keep it rolling. <laughs> yeah, well, it started as just building a, a nice 55. And then uh, I made a mistake of going to Riddler. And, <laughs> and uh, I got hooked. And then we decided that we wanted to build a Riddler car. And uh, so from then on, it was, uh, you know, nothing was, uh, uh, acceptable the first time around. We did it over and over things and and uh, it was uh, it was just something that grew and grew and grew and to what it is today. Yeah. And and Bob and I were talking, I guess you know, if you're ten, twenty feet away, it looks like just a beautifully painted fifty five Chevy. And then up close, as as we walked around during our photo shoot, you're like, well look at this and then, then there's this and Chris, and pretty much everything is hand built. Chris, is Chris has got a theory for uh, for how that's supposed to work. So, <laughs> yeah, I I call it kind of like my four rings of design. Like when you're looking at a car, you want to see it from different distances. So you want to be able to be drawn to it from across the parking lot. When you get up close to it, about 20 feet away, you no start noticing things that draws you in closer. You get up next to it, draws you in closer. You're inside it, and you see even more stuff. So this car's got many layered elements like that to really entertain you and pull you in a little bit more to yeah. take a look at it. And we were here, you know, I, I told Kent, hey, you're usually here for like two hours, and we're getting close to that point, but really Rick mentioned numerous times, like we could spend an entire day just shooting all the detail <laughs> on this car. Mm -hmm. And so is there anything... I mean, you, your hands are on so much part of this vehicle. Like, is there something that like you're most proud of that some design that you came up with? That well, there are a couple of things that were really fun to work on because of the challenge involved. Um, one was the tail lights. It's got uh, some LED powered light pipe arches uh, in the tail lights that have a very dramatic effect. And that was kind of interesting trying to squeeze all the technology into a small space, and then also. Um, on the inside of the car, it has uh, a steering wheel that has uh, integrated shift paddles into it. So trying to fit all the tech inside the design was uh, kind of a fun challenge. And of course the seats, we kind of went over the board on the seats with the details. Well, this is, everything is, I guess, 55 Chevrolet inspired. So everything yeah. is slightly, right, it looks original, but it has this Matranga Hot Rods take on Yes. Slight, you know, everything has like a little, it's not quite exact 55, you know, like Bob and I, we spoke about how the moldings are different or the arches on the dash are slightly changed. And this is something that your team came up with just to really yeah, we kind of knock it out of the park. Yeah, we didn't want to take the 55 out of the 55. We wanted to keep the 55 and, and just make like the top chop at three quarters of an inch. The eyebrows on the dash are a little bit smaller. So it just... But we wanted the 55 to be a 55, so. Yeah, well, it's an unbelievable car, and you know we saw you know it won the Battle of the Builder Award at SEMA last year. Yeah. So that's I know, and you know, you're battling some the Chip Foose, the Ring Brothers, the Troy Trepanier, like, and your your team went like toe to toe with them, and, and you won. So what I guess what was that SEMA week experience like, or the the crunch time leading up to SEMA? What was that all about? Crunch time. <laughs> <laughs> Sleepless nights here in the shop. <laughs> yeah, it, it, uh, we, we, uh, thanks to Keystone, we, uh, we, we were in their booth and, and uh, got the, uh, uh, you know, we got the presence there with them and, and uh, really, really helped us out. But it was, uh, the whole week is just an unbelievable week. 
as far as pressure and and getting things done and the amount of people that are there and and, and, and the amount of uh, vendors that are there. It, it was quite a, quite an experience. Quite yeah. an experience. And so, are you ready to do it again? No. <laughs> <laughs> we took it back this year as a display car, and uh, then that, that that was fun. Uh, <laughs> Uh, a little less pressure. Yeah, yeah less, less pressure. A lot it, less pressure. It, it, was, it was fun. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful car, and we'll get some more shots of it so people can see. Like, and I know it's, it's had so much press in the past year, but just, we'll let um, some of our audience see just some of the detail on there that it's, it's incredible. Yeah. And I don't know, you're, you're sitting here quiet, I, quiet, I yeah. apologize. Yeah, but, no um, problem. Like, just tell like, our, our customers about Matranga Hot Rods. What, I know we're in, I guess, your maybe show place or. Yeah, this is our store, storage facility here, and it's basically a hobby shop for my dad and I. We've been doing this uh, hot rod thing since I was 14, and so it's kind of grown into a, uh, a full-blown obsession. Uh, <laughs> our families think that we need an intervention at some point, but uh, they're, 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 they go along with uh, what we like to do. So, yeah, so this is a, the storage facility for the cars that we can't keep at home, and We've got uh, 60 some odd cars in our overall collection. Yeah, and, yeah this uh, is probably the nicest storage like, facility you've seen. So this is, this, is, yeah. this, is, this is no slash, it's a beautiful shop and I know there, you can see the list behind us with some, some amazing cars and there's just as many on the other side of the camera. So, yeah. oh. so it's, a, it's a hobby shop for us, we enjoy doing it. Uh, we've been doing it, like I said, since I was you know, 14 is when we started building the first car. So it, that was 50 some odd years ago. So it, uh, it's, it's been a great hobby. It's uh, brought my dad and I closer together and we got great guys working for us. Chris on the design side and uh, Paul and Bill and Ryan on the, on the shop side. And it's a great, great hobby. And we, we do a lot of the good guys events. We do a lot of the local car shows, the cars and coffee stuff. And uh, so most of our cars are out and about. We can drive pretty much anything in here. And including the story I told you on the CUDA going on a 3,100 mile Road trip. They're all drivers, not They're, just for. Doctors. Yeah, not not just show pieces. They they drive them all. Mm -hmm. And you know, the, and it's just not like storing your own personal cars. There's a lot of like Chris and your team, and, and you're all involved in like fabricating tons of parts. And you mentioned you're working on a couple of muscle cars right now, and you do a lot of all that work yourselves in, in the other shop. Yeah, the, we've got a full blown shop uh, set up uh, just a few miles from here that uh, we we're building a 60 uh, Impala right now kind of uh, in a 60s muscle car theme. So it, uh, it's, it's coming together. It'll be out here in another year or so. Now, are you, are you going SEMA Battle of the Builders? You going Barrett Jackson Cup with it, or is it just a... We don't know. Fun? It's, it's uh, too early in too the early process. Too early in the process, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Because as yeah. I say, Bob might say no to that if you're not. I don't know. Well, I know he's not. He's, I don't think he's ready for another run. It's, it's, it's It'd definitely. Be a great experience it's for you, definitely Ken. not a riddler, <laughs> riddler experience. Yeah. But yeah, it's a, it's an active chef. I'm there every day. Uh, yeah. My typical day is uh, I do some business in the morning and then go to the shop in the afternoon and work with Chris and the guys and and uh, I get I like getting dirty and uh, we have we have a good time. It, it's. Uh, and you know, and it's amazing. You know, we're a family-owned business, and so you know, you know, until in my, during COVID, my father, you know, mostly retired. He comes by the shop once a week now, but you know, we've been around motorsports and hot rod, and, and like you know, it's um, it's kind of insane how much time and money you, you put into this hobby, but it keeps you out of trouble. Oh, like, yeah. You know, yeah. there's a lot worse things you could be doing you know, yeah. Yeah. Than, than hanging out with, with old cars and going to hot rod shows. You know, yeah. there's only there, but. Um, but you know, we've always done it as a family, yeah. and, so, and that's what's cool. And now my father, he, um, he he's just working on his drag cars and his hot rods, and he, oh yeah, yeah, he's, he cool. loves it. He, he he's going to keep doing it now yeah, well, for another twenty years. It's he, great for keeps me. Up. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, it gives me something to do and, and keep keep busy at it. So yeah. Yeah. I, well, if so, now this is all done. So then, if you're in the going in the shop every day, what are you working on? Uh, right now, uh, we're, we're just working on Kent's Impala, uh, and then and the maintenance on all the other cars. I mean, you get 60 cars, you get oil changes, tires, you get, I mean, it's it's an ongoing thing. Okay, for sure. And uh, uh, we, we, when we buy a car, um, you know, we buy them, needless to say, we don't build every single one of them. It typically takes, you go to build through the shop, it takes a few months usually to shake that car down and figure out what was it done correctly and uh, we correct those things and, and before we put it on the road. 
So there's a, a lot of that. Kent brought, brought us three uh, <laughs> from the last auction, so we're, we've yeah. got those three. We have a 32.5 window that's going through that process right now and a 71 C10 that uh, we're doing for my wife that uh, is, is going through that process right now. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, well that's, yeah, yeah, you gotta go, go through them all. They're, they're beautiful, but you know, there's always something that needs to be Oh yeah. Double yeah. checked. Are you want to, you want to add your style to it, or make it, you make your right. Those little tweaks. Well, no matter how nice they are, uh, you can always make the car better. You can make it drive better, function better. Well, the wiring can be better. You know all that sort of stuff. So we want to make sure that these two guys can drive their cars and have fun and not have problems or be stuck or whatever. So yeah. and, 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 and it Bruce, sounds like they're all driven. Oh, yeah, yeah. brute force. I mean, that car kind of ruined me in a way <laughs> because I look at everything now. With with an eye that I'm looking for perfection, and it 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 it's difficult sometimes. I have yeah. to say to myself, "Why not? I mean, <laughs> yeah. this is this is not brute force. This is not a car, you know." So, it it uh, it, it 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 really changes the way you look at things. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, when we get cars in, we look at them a little little differently than most. So now you're a little more, you maybe like even more thorough when you get to acquire something new than when you actually go through it. It's like, it's in there for another few more days than you would anticipate yeah. just to make sure it's right. up yeah. to the, your, your company's like standards, I guess, for automobiles now. We learn a little bit of something on every car that we do. So we just incorporate that into the next one. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. And then it's a, how far down the line? I know the, this is, I believe, like a five-year project on Brute Force. Yeah, plus. plus. Five-year plus, <laughs> plus, yeah. Um, but, um, so how long until the, uh, the, the Impala, or there's the, the, the Galaxy is getting some work done, so how long until the Impala is uh, ready yeah, for Yeah, we're, we're probably at least a year and a half, two years away yeah. from being done with the uh, Impala. Oh, then you got plenty of time to decide about SEMA. Yeah. You know, SEMA yeah. 2025, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. Yeah, we, <laughs> and, got, we and, got time. And that, that, that bill is going the same way. I mean, I'm there, <laughs> you know, and it's like, all right, let's do that. You know, we're building the bumpers. We're building all the trim. We're, I mean, it's it's going to be it's going to be a nice car. Yeah. Nice car. Yeah. So then, Chris, and what do you say about this? You're like, are you are you like, not again, not again, Bob? I, I don't know. No, not <laughs> at all. I mean, no. he's, he's all in. He's, he's all, all in. in. He's okay. Whatever whatever they're willing to do, I'm willing to do. Okay, as so, long as there's, yeah. there's there's you know equal parts crazy on everybody, so Absolutely. everyone's all working together. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Okay. That we we fuel each other, so okay. it's it's a it's a good relationship. Yeah. And Chris is very much involved. I mean, the guys, he, 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 his office is up on a mezzanine, and hey, Chris, they'll call up to him, and he has to go down, and what do you think about this? This doesn't fit. You know, so How are we going to solve this problem? It's, yeah. it's all problem solving, no matter if it's making a part prettier or making it work or both. You know, that's the fun challenge is trying to figure out how to how to do it, you know, or making stuff. Like we've got this boat that's behind the camera there, and we went to take it to have it detailed and pull the wheels off and notice that the, the wheel bearings were, had, were just worn out. They had gotten some water in there from the last time it was used. So we pulled everything apart. There was a little plastic piece in there that you, doesn't exist anymore. You cannot buy them. It's a 1960s trailer. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you had to make your own. You know, they don't make parts for those yeah. anymore. Yeah, so we've got a couple of 3D printers. So I went and designed it all up in the computer, printed them out, and now the thing works so you know it's it's fun to do that kind of stuff even though that part nobody will ever see it yeah. and it's not a aesthetic thing at all but it was it's fun to try to figure out that challenge too well and that well that's part of like walking around and i'm sure if we we could spend time walking around each car that you've worked on in here but just walking around brute force and you're just oh by the way this is why we did this and this is you explaining the part where the car uh, store in the the pads for when it goes on the lifts or yep. just the compartments for the detailing products in the trunk and just um, continuing the theme of um, the Madranga and the, the logo for the build through like on the seats, on the dash, on the wheels, where it goes, it's yeah, the kind Vs. Of all the V's yeah. going out through um, the, the, the entire process. So just the design and then um, educating a couple of knuckleheads like Rick and Connor <laughs> and myself on like, oh, well, check, let's see what we did here. And you know, hey, I just sell car covers. So I'm not, but just so <laughs> to see the design work that goes into uh, this build is is unbelievable, and it's you know I usually when this car is on display, it's it's on a pedestal or it's you know well protected. Right. So to see all the little things that went into it to make it an, an award winner is was was awesome. This is incredible, you know, that we got to get so up close. So thank you so much for all the time today. It's really cool. We're big fans of your product, so yeah. thanks yeah. for uh, thanks for coming and visiting with us and.
Yeah. Well, appreciate well, it. Yeah, I, we appreciate it. And uh, again, thank you so much for your time. Um, we'll have some more content on our YouTube channel, on uh, Instagram, and follow along on the Matringa Hot Rods Instagram. You're showing everything that you're doing in the shop and what's yep. kind of coming down the pipeline. Yep. Yeah. 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 Follow us so you can see what's coming up next. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you'll see their cars on all the, yeah, the good guys, all the premier kind of car shows on the West Coast. Your vehicles are there. So we, uh, yep. so definitely thank you for your time. Appreciate it. And again, uh, I'm Tony with California Car Cover and Covering Classic Cars. So see you next time. Thanks.